Hello guys, so welcome back and today I'm going to talk about should you summon on this ultra kit boo or not Literally, like you can see here, they just announced his abilities And after reading his ability, like literally you all, uh, like if you haven't Like you can just check my channel, there's another video of his abilities So literally, like should you need to summon this banner or not Literally because we have the anniversary After this we're going to get and the anniversary announced Like literally 100% And also like we're going to get an ultra again so you have option the anniversary ultra you need to summon this because literally you need crystals like a lot of people like have no much so much crystal literally like right now people have around normally they have around one to five k and literally the people who didn't summon they have kind of more than 10k so literally first of all really quick right literally if like this character doesn't you don't like it and you don't need it just skip it literally just save for the anniversary and if like this is the best character you wanted is the best character you wanted in the game this character is what you're were waiting for like for the ultra book is like if you're were waiting for this character just summon it literally just summon it because if you don't care about other characters and you just enjoy the game like you just want this character really really badly you can just summon but be aware of this also the universe is near and also this character if you see his element is yellow and like if you need you're going to you need this character for buffing your Majin Buu Saga uh, team it doesn't make any sense like why it doesn't make any sense because he's a yellow unit and we already have in Majin Buu Saga and yellow ultra who is the ultra super Vegito and he's really insane still now and with the buffs he's just like literally he's just insane like I have him and I, I like I, I play with him and he's just really good really good and literally so i think if you have the super ultra vegeta you don't need him in your majin busaga team and if we talk about the tags like you can see it's like regeneration absorbent powerful opponent so like literally regeneration again like i i am like the regeneration team you only have this one if you get him and the zimasu also like the other one there's like no sense like the regeneration team is like not so good so like if you want him for your regeneration team you can just summon but like still again and the anniversary is near and we're going to get a really good ultra with the anniversary back like literally also like like this animation of his animation i don't like literally and but we are not sure because they say this content is still under development and maybe like when the he comes out his uh the animations they just change animation you know maybe so literally he has a unique gauge like every ultra character a curvy unique gauge and literally like be aware the anniversary is near and like literally guys it's really simple if this was your dream character and you want to summon just summon okay like because you just need to enjoy the game and if you don't like this just keep it and if you're in the middle should you summon not you shouldn't so that my answer is literally like i see this kid boo like I don't know but I see this doesn't make any sense like literally if you have an regeneration team and all that stuff you can you can this will be good for your team and a yellow unit but if you are just need him for Majin Buu Saga just keep it because if you have the ultra super Vegito, this character doesn't make any sense because literally like I, I wanted to play above my Majin Buu Saga team because I had ultra Vegeta's 14 stars so I thought what if I like in Majin Buu Saga, I just summon in every character and get him. Like, I, I summon on Super Saiyan 3, uh, Goku and uh, Super Saiyan 2, uh, Vegeta. And I got him. And right and now, literally, I was waking, waiting for the Ultra. And I was thinking it's going to be an Gohan, Ultra Gohan, and I will just summon on him. But literally, after seeing this Kid Buu, I personally am not going to summon. And I will just recommend you to not summon, literally, until this character is your dream character, literally. I will say do not summon, wait for the anniversary and you're going to get a better ultra and a lot more characters because literally you know every time in an anniversary we get a lot of good characters and maybe we get an ultra super, oh sorry ultra super saiyan blue Vegito because we always get Vegito in anniversary so maybe literally and it, it's going to buff your fusion team and literally uh, like and also the gold key team so you have option 
like imagine they ju are just going to announce the ultra super thin blue vegito imagine this like they're not going to do it i think but imagine so you have option that like super thin blue vegito or soup or this ultra kid but like literally i think it's clear you will like most of people will want that super thin blue vegito so just be careful and if you have like a lot of crystal like you say oh i have 25 30k crystals and i have you want someone simple you can just do one rotation if you don't get it just stop right there literally like if you have more than 20k crystals and literally and like maybe even you have 30k you just summon 3k and then you say like i don't like literally you need to stop there after one rotation just stop or really real like i will never recommend this but if you want to spend 6k crystals like if you have 30k or 26k like the target is you don't need to get down the 20k mark literally because like if they announce an ultra literally if you have at least you need to have like around 15 to 20k like for getting the ultra like it's the normal recommendation so be aware of your crystals and that was all guys and comment down below if you're going to summon or not. So, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.